Um, because for context of my life situation, um, because I have school in a certain county, uh, the county my dad lives in, I'm here at my dad's during the weeks, uh, from, like, late Sunday to through most of Friday until after school. Uh, I'm only at Zaws, which is a place in, um, uh, I almost said the name of the county, another county, uh, over the weekends. Which is where I had the PS4 set up, but I thought, hmm, I'm here the majority of the time, I'm really liking this game, I don't want to wait a full week, um, in between only getting to play, like, a few times. So, I just moved the PS4 here. <laughs> so it's here now, uh, which is why the setup is a little different, uh, there's light coming in from the kitchen right now. But, we're gonna continue playing, we're gonna start on episode 2, uh, last we left off was a pretty stressful situation in which, um, okay, last we left off, um, a, a major character died. So that's where we are. I have this mango black tea sparkling water, which sounds bad. It's fine. Um, but just, I need a drink. Always I have a stream drink. Um, so this is a smaller TV, uh, but I'm more at eye level with it now. And there's nothing blocking the TV because the way the other one was set up, there was like things in the way blocking some of the screen, um, but not here. So, you know, it's all good. We can play, continue playing, start episode two. Trip trap. Oh, you can rewind to any point? That's cool. I'm not going to but you can, and I think that's pretty neat. Episode 3, he's chasing a car. Episode 4, oh, that's, um, Bluebeard, right? Ooh, spooky. So we gotta unlock those, but first, for now, we can go here. I'm always one step forward and three steps back. Mr. Toad? I'm not- I'm not calling- to clarify, I'm not calling Mr. Toad a DILF, I'm calling Bigby a DILF. Is he a dad? No, but he has DILF energy. <laughs> I felt the need to clarify. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> Please, baby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I didn't. I promise. Thank you for trusting me. Have you seen my wife? From when, um, in the Flash, it would be like previously on the Flash, and whatever it showed would usually have to do. They stopped doing that, at least on the Netflix versions, but they did it for a while. Uh, and then whatever they showed usually had something to do, so uh, if it, like, had previously on the Flash, and then it had a scene from, like, th half a season ago, you're like, oh, that character's probably gonna come back. So I'm, I'm using my thinking skills with this. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked it's like a better question. light here. Don't change the subject. The you screen's less mean? dark. I think I changed the screen... You, this probably doesn't affect you guys, but I'm pretty sure I, I changed the output on this TV to be brighter and, like, more contrasted for something, and I like how it looks. I'm D. He's dumb. I'm gonna tell you right now what the f Dad! I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels in the... <laughs> They're gonna string me up, baby. You said it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named. <laughs> this fucking lab man comes sniffing around. Fucks in the woodlands. Need to take me. In that right, Big B. Big B. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. And then she's dead. Did 
she's dead, right? Like, that's definitely what the end was telling me. I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss something. Oh, God. Jesus. That, sc that scared me. I wasn't expecting this weird-ass lighting. Wow, spooky, man. God. This is unnerving as fuck. Mr. Can we stop with the staring? Okay, yeah, that's definitely Snow White. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. What is happening? How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now. If I'm honest, I'd like to smash everything in this room. Is that a threat? Depends on how much you like the furniture. <laughs> I didn't think that was funny. In case you were waiting for me to laugh. Wow, look, tough crowd. I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You don't know anything. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting here talking to me. You'd be talking to the piece of shit that did this. Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... Damn. I'm trying to help you, Bigby. Oh, he's on a screen. Wait, are they interrogating him right now? What the hell is happening? Is he a suspect? Always trying to empathize with people. <laughs> Since when, hon? Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. Are you okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> Something's fucking with her head. Please. Please. <laughs> what the f- uh, What I'm the sorry. hell? Just oh, what? Oh, please. <laughs> what? We have to go now. Ichabod, what the fuck did you do? What the fuck is going on? You should be thanking me. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. <clears throat> Yikes. <laughs> Here's a viewer. Hi. Do you have anything you want to say? I'd be happy to start a conversation. If not, that's fine too. Welcome to the street. It's always one step forward and three steps back. currently interrogating him. There's two of them, D and Dunn, and they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. It does make him a suspect, though. 
<laughs> Makes him a pretty fucking good suspect. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. A slice of morning. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. I don't like Ichabod, but Our you know, I'm, I want to be nice. Because I'm a nice person. It used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Yeah, it's kind of like it's a real world and not a fable written by an author. Did she um, give any indication to what she was thinking when you saw her last time? I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. Said a lot of things. That was one of the... I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders. And Very two helpful. Mm -hmm. We don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby, for Miss White. I got it. <laughs> Daddy Bigby got angry. I'm so sorry. A lot- Whoever the viewer is, a lot of this is just me simping for Bigby. He's hot, what can I say? That's it's not a very good answer. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a what do you think you're doing? Hello, Wickerbod. Hello, Wickerbod. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. His you voice is cool. Wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence. No violence. Whatever you say, Wickerbod. Hello, Big B. Hello, Big B. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? I'm glad you have a sense of humor. I hope that means you're willing to cooperate. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to oh, just I didn't believe. kill anyone. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. You know I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girls got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air. Especially with this heat wave going on. I'm not fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Come on, Big B. We both know. Yikes. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. Snow was murdered, D. She was important to me if you know who did this you have to tell me i don't know what to tell you you're barking up the wrong tree <laughs> i don't know who did it just tell me what you were doing at faith's apartment look bigby we're not on opposite sides here my brother and i are trying to get to the bottom of things same as you your brother where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. 
Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find out? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? <laughs> I'm declaring a tax on uncooperative troublemakers. You taking out a loan? You might not like the. Bluebeard guy was the gay ass look I've ever seen one. The interest on that. You'll need to account for that. You can't just. There are procedures to be followed. Shut the hell up, we'll Ichabod. Talk about it later. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. You mentioned Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, since you never answered my first question, what did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Hang on. <laughs> Fuck! <gasps> so, this is how it's gonna be. What are you what doing? Are you doing? Getting, Getting answers. I told you to keep yourself keep under control. control. Let me handle this. What did you want from Faith? I didn't want shit from that little thief. More trouble than she's worth. I could say the same about you. Oh yeah? Untie me and see how much trouble I am. What did she steal? Must have been valuable. I don't know. It was just some dumb thing my boss was after. What did you say? Your boss. So let's talk about your boss then. Come on, Dean. It's clear you're just following orders. So who's calling the shots? No, I'm fucking done. Got something to say. You need to tell me who you're working for. Look, I know it's unpleasant. You don't want to be here, right? I'm not trying to make things difficult for you. I just need you to cooperate. Once you've answered my questions, I'll let you go. You punch up my fucking face, and now you want to be best friends? No fucking way! You're out of, You're your, out of mind. your mind! As long as you cooperate, I'll be nice. This is all up to you. Unbelievable. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy. I believe beauty on that one. But I can't give you that information. That's where I gotta draw the line. There's no way no beauty way. would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard! You were making progress before. What is this patty cake shit? Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Yikes. Pay attention. Yikes. Stop this right now. You enjoy it yourself. Immensely. <laughs> The homoerotic tension, though, like... <laughs> what the fuck? Snow. I'm so confused. <laughs> what?
What he doing? Why he walking on the bridge? What he doing? Jared Emerson Johnson, you do good good work, sir. Episode two: Smoke and Mirrors. Oh, does that mean we're gonna see the mirror thing again? It's all mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who's the bravest of them all? That sort of thing. Mirror, mirror, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. Fable. Let's go with the one. Down, Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Okay, you're gonna have to explain this because I'm really not getting it yet. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of it. I'm so confused. Why was her head there? Snow? What is it? Are you gonna be okay? I mean, with all that's happened. I'll be fine. I don't trust that. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Who, Faith? Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. Who, Faith? That can't be a coincidence. Or the girl got died. We just the other to find girl. Out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? <clears throat> so, what's our next move? Maybe you should lie low for a while? Until we figure out what's going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. But then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm Yikes. not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want I you to be, want careful. You to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm not I'm yours not to lose. To lose. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. Okay. I've been doing Got it. For it. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. What? Just be nice, okay? I'm always nice. <laughs> yeah, look, she's like, are you sure about that? TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. I love Buffkin. Oh, that's enough. Mira, vanish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? Big B, you ready to apologize? What's going on? 
for hitting me in front of my boy. Did you fucking forget? I didn't, and neither did he. TJ, I know you're scared, but we would like to talk about what you found, if that's okay with you. Poor child, damn. It's up to you, TJ. It would really help us, TJ. I want to help. Wholesome, but sad. Watch yourself, baby. You do anything to hurt me, boy. It's okay. Sorry if I scared you. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. <clears throat> I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> Careful, Bigby. I wasn't. I know. The lady... fell in. But... but she didn't have her head on. I thought... I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> Cause, Cause like a headless horseman type thing. Rocks on her feet, and she kept falling down in the dark part. <laughs> this poor kid, Tam. Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Yikes. Is it, more, Is it true? You know when people are lying. I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, it's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. Leave him alone. He's my son. I've set boundaries for a reason. This is a special circumstance. Leave him alone. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you see who it was? No. Poor kid, Dan. Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I Jesus go Christ. Home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Fuck Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. You did a good job, kid. Come on now. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Forgot what? Buffkin? What? Oh, evidence. Right, yeah. <laughs> Oh God. Wow. I 
I didn't realize. I've never seen her face before now. You're gonna be okay. You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. True. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. It looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. It looks just like Faith's dead. But there was nothing so the same person. this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Yes. Uh, did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Well, the thing about killers is they're not going to do the exact same thing every time, especially because uh, this lady, because Snow doesn't have a ribbon, so this a girl lady probably didn't either. Uh, but if the slash is the same, it's probably the same person. Track marks. She used Monday drugs. Looks that way. Pretty heavily too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait, if the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap one, just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? I wouldn't be it's surprised. It's technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume Probably. so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market <laughs> or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Rope marks. She Probably from the cinder blocks. Tied cinder blocks to her ankles. And she would sink. Oh. You're right. These buttons. I wonder. What? Don't be pervy. Don't be pervy. Don't be pervy. Don't be pervy. Snow, do you mind if I uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. Okay. <laughs> you still okay? I, Sorry, uh, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? I haven't finished yet. Well, get on with it then. We can't Jesus, waste you interrupted it. The killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. My fucking god, Ichabod, you interrupted this. Silk lingerie snow? <laughs> Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on her knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. W 
What are you doing? The only way to find out. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? He's strong for a reason. I mean, yeah. I don't know what you're expecting there. What is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this. Because he's a simp, Looks obviously. Like someone picked it out for. So, someone gave her instructions. Might be the hooker guy. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? Oh my god, Ichabod, shut up. No one likes Just you. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Oh, we have to match it. Wait, wait, I think I'm figuring it out. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Is that... It's your hair. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> this is really weird. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. <laughs> Hell no. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Okay, that's her sister. Who did this, Big Pete? What the fuck? 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 She's a troll? Ah. Uh. Holy shit. <laughs> that helps explain the glamour. Kind of. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. Yikes! We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. Oh my god, shut up, Ichabod. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Hmm? Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. Snow wants to come with me. I'm not gonna stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, yeah screw you, Ichabod. No one likes you. No one likes you, Ichabod. You suck. This whole thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after. Come on, Holly. 
I need entertainment. This'll do. That <laughs> was very gay. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. Not here to start anything. Okay. <laughs> Grindel doesn't it's trust. Right. I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Wolfie, my dear. God, because he you know, gay. We just talked about you. All of us. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. Crane. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Baby, Torture is a strong word. Can't be so dumb as to find the off button now. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all. Let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired. Is what happened. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit. Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy! Ah, fuck! What'd I do? Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Gren, Jackie a beanstalk. There it is. Alright. Actually, have there been any updates? Holly. Your sister's dead. She's the one we found early this morning. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? You give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us. She might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been. All right, clear out. Give her some room. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. Gay? Um, get the fuck out of my bar. Get I the fuck out of you. my bar. It should have been you and it wasn't. No, never mind, not gay, damn. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a shitty thing to say. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. That was... decent of you. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Bread pub brawlers. That's the vibe the scene is giving me, and that's not good. It's a good scene, but it's reminding me of bread pub brawlers. Yikes. Alright. I feel like we, we missed a few things. Weird. 
After a long line of marriages resulting in mysterious disappearances, don't like that, but his last wife in Homelands was naturally suspicious of him. One day he departed on business, leaving her alone in the estate. He left her free rooms above her rooms, but made her promise not to open the closet when the ground poor. She defied him, of course, and discovered gold okay. Oh, yikes! I was missing wives and boo returned to the Miss before he. <sighs> God, Jesus. Okay. Um, yikes. What is this? Four. Don't care. Witching well. Don't care. Yikes. Okay. So he's a uh, narcissist. Why? Honestly, we didn't talk often. Damn. She was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. You have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh, God. I'm sorry. That was probably about... She was hoping to pay down debt. Yikes! <laughs> Eventually, ah. the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, was all this fucking... <laughs> I'm laughing because the implication is that there's a bunch of random people in this town who think that Snow White is a hooker. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Wow. Fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. <clears throat> We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> really? Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do? No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking up for our own. Is she? We're all fables she? here. She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. Of course. Okay, good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Wholesome straights. Wholesome heteros. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? The screen went dark. Where are we going? This is a creepy visual effect, Jesus. Just the edge of my glasses. The dark days are over. The pudding and pie. Sounds like a euphemism for sign. Oh, I sparkle lesbian. I spog a lesbian. I spog the lesbian. You cannot convince me that this woman is a head. Oh, no. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I've got some questions. Oh, pleasure, yikes. Straight to business this time, then. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. 
dark energy that he is radiating. It's very intimidating. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in Well, Georgie's gonna have to fucking deal with it. I mean, more so than usual. I don't much care how he feels about it. Ah, well, you two will get along just swimmingly. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you, ma'am. Where is he? Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination is the menu, and discretion is our guarantee. God. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Got went from zero to hundred really quickly. I, wa I wasn't ready. Doing? Forgot. You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. We could always just try to seduce him. Just say it. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? You're supp- Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. No respect for women, yikes. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. Leave her alone, asshole. Sure, whatever you say. What do you want then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, Yikes. back after midnight maybe, I can hook you up. Or, uh, Fuck no. You, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me. Do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? Yikes! I'm not here for that. Ooh, I'm not here. So Bigby's a kinky boy, okay. Not here I'm sorry. <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips then. Jesus, Fuck you. Baby, so corny. I love it though. No, seriously, I love it. <clears throat> that was very sus. <laughs> okay, alright, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Oh, I, I'm sure you I want to. Idea. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Shit happens. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you duck git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. Is this some great strategy to get me to incriminate myself? Brilliant. Myself. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? I want to ask him about Faith. You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? <gasps> he just called him a simp, and he's entirely right. I mean, he's being an asshole about it, but he's entirely right. He's calling you out on your shit, Bigby. Calling you out. Alright, what is this? Second victim. Oh yeah. 
I got confused. <clears throat> Do it with me. Do it with me. Go on, then. Very. <laughs> fox, fox. Himbo. I spot a himbo. Fuck off, guys. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when you need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. But you get it. It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my coat. End of story. Hmm. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? A fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Did he just change changed voice actors? What you gonna do? Hit me? Hey, no. Hello? Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. <clears throat> Don't even think about it. <laughs> do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. Or is there? I wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sure, it I think that's bullshit. Up. Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. <laughs> oh, he's masochistic. Okay. Was it you... you, Sheriff? Next time, I'm gonna have to charge you. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. This is a dance club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, whistle a happy tune. Fucking unbelievable. Bloody come on, men. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit! Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. You're into it. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this who's Mr. This? Smith? Oh dear, 
I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Ants knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. You're not their fucking secretary. I yeah, you kind of are. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements What the fuck? Clients, what the fuck? What the, the girls, fuck is that? <laughs> what is that? Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello, business office. Yeah, that's right. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Is that note? Oh, there's a note. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Fake and Lily knew each other. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Whoever Mr. Smith is. Maybe it's another guy, but it's probably Mr. Smith. Excuse me. I heard you were there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. You're trying to place me. They used what? to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? You have legs. Kind of glamour? No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. Hmm. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Are you still ask, right? <laughs> Did you see Lily last night? You know, where she went or who she was with? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. That's the third time we've heard the phrase, these lips are sealed. We heard it with Fake said it. Uh, the Magic Mirror said it, now she's saying it. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an... Appointment with me. We could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. Oh, I see. What would I need to do? I need a hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. We do have money. It's okay. okay. 
Wait here for a second. Hmm. So here's one step forward and three steps back. Da 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 Not 207? No. You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. <laughs> this is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you. <laughs> for the lead. We didn't have that before, so thank you. Damn. It's always one step forward and three steps back. That policeman just got laid, is what I got from that. Nicotine addiction is not good for you, sir. Okay. There's missing persons cases. They should probably repair that. They should cut their rates. <laughs> Keep your pants on, buddy. You have to check in first if you want a room. I right, have a room. So come on. Mosey on back and we'll get you set up. Why can't I go upstairs? What's going on up there? Oh, uh, you. I work what the here, fuck? Okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beauty, I could honestly not care less about this. Do what you want. All right, jeez. I thought since you didn't tell Beast you saw me, you cared how I felt. But I guess not. Oh my god, you over- So, what are you doing here? You're so oversensitive for no reason. Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie, <coughs> Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her. You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Well, it's not snow. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room okay. register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. 
Yikes. I take out a loan from those two. It was from the crooked man. Who is the crooked man? You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, alright? I tried. Oof. Yikes. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. <clears throat> Yikes. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. That's kind of his job. Fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see you report. It's just... Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. <laughs> that screams dyslexia. Is he dyslexic? Well, I love him more. Which one was it? Well, four. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. I could just break in the door if you prefer. No, don't! I'll help you. Just don't break anything. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no! Wait a minute! How could you do this? We've been together through everything! I took care of you! I love- It's not what you think! Please! Oh, he You're thinks she's cheating! cheating. With him? No, no, Beast! I promise I'm not! I'm helping him, that's all! I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! Anger issues go per damn Jesus Christ. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Please listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not hey. Master! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping with her this whole time! Listen to your wife. Just Calm down and Beast. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me. She's my wife, baby. I'm aware she's your wife. She was kind of helping you, saying. Shit, Bigby. What 
have you done? What? What is this? Bigby. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You, you don't want to see this. What the fuck? Well, we got the door open. <gasps> oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this- is this- Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then? Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go yeah. Go the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. Yeah, that's what this whole thing has been about. I can't believe this. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her, and then, and then he took it back off? Oh! No blood on it. it must have been torn some other time. Yikes. We shouldn't even be in here. Shut the hell up. <laughs> he brought wine. Classy. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently, Apparently not. not. <laughs> <sighs> what is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. What is it? It seems like he's fascinated by Snow's beauty. He's got this book about her, and he's even written it on the note. And he glamoured someone to look like her. Yeah, I'm sure he's a real romantic. The whole book is about her? Yeah. She is a fable, after all. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Oh no, what? What is it? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. Yikes! So beautiful. And this is what he does? I'm sure he thinks it's romantic, but, but what it is is obsessive and, and- Well, here's a good thing. Let's not kink shame the man. Up until this point, I mean, he's a sex worker. This is, this is just he's, what he's into. It's no discretion. You get what you want, whatever. The issue here is that he murdered her. And, and creepy. Oh my god, that poor girl. The issue isn't with him being kinky. The issue is with the murder part. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. Yeah. 
She must have been so scared. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What, what now? now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. But like well, in a sexual manner. Perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession. Again, let's not kink shame the man. The issue isn't that he was role playing. The issue is that he murdered someone. <laughs> obsession, but then there's this other stuff too. I mean. He's fascinated by her beauty, but then he spoils it by cutting off her head. Unless he thinks- Yeah, that's where the issue is. Jesus. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Mm-hmm, fuck no. They could be just pictures of snow. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Yikes. Bigby, this kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. The mirror, signs on the mirror, maybe? The snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. It's always crane. I thought it was crane with the mirror going on. I was saying with, with the mirror was all fuzzy and weird, and I was thinking it must be Ichabod, and I was right. <laughs> Yikes. Ichabod, you kinky motherfucker. Oh, is that the end of the episode? Be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Yikes. It's gonna be a yikes for me. Really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was really gay. <laughs> God. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? Damn. Jesus. Well, I guess that was episode two. Ichabod, Ichabod is a pervy bastard. Saw so that one coming. Not specifically that he was pervy, but we all knew there was something wrong with him. And now the plot thickens. So, hold on, I want, I want to see his eyes glowing. That's so cool. That's such a cool visual effect. Anyways, uh, that was a fun second episode. We learned things, so I guess I'll probably see you guys tomorrow since this is just in my room now. Uh, so yeah, that was fun. See ya!
we'll continue this later.